Greetings everyone, hope you're all keeping well out there. As some of you may or may not know, my name is Alex and today we're here to do a quick unboxing and demonstration for the Andoair 4K action camera. Now this is what you'd call a budget action camera, however I'm quite curious to how good it really is since it only costs around £50 or approximately $60, something like that. However it does stipulate that it can produce 4K video at 24 frames per second. So because of its cheap price, I'm wondering whether it actually can produce those high quality results. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna unbox this, give it a quick demonstration and see how good it really is. Okay then, so this is the actual case it has arrived in. It's actually a good, sturdy and well-built case. It would easily withstand if you dropped it or anything like that. So it is quite supportive, which is quite nice. Okay, so here it is. Obviously getting quite a lot for the money that we paid for this. As you can see, a little compartment there with all the manuals, looks like some extra sticky pads. And then of course, here is the camera itself. You know what, straight away looking at that, that actually looks really good. I'm quite surprised how good it looks. Let's see if we can get this out. There we go. Okay, so that's the actual camera itself, out of the box and out of the waterproof housing. And it actually feels really nice. It's very light. It's got a little LCD display screen on the back there. It looks like a little either microphone or speaker there. And then you've got your auxiliary inputs and memory card inputs as well. But overall, that looks quite nice. I really am quite impressed so far. Okay, so let's just actually have a look what actually comes inclusive with the camera itself. So obviously that is your waterproof housing and it does look very secure as well. You've got actually rubber seals around the side and of course you've still got the options to push the buttons whilst underwater or whatever you are doing. And then we've also got a host of features here. It looks like a belt buckle, additional helmet mounts, you've got a side helmet mount, a handlebar mount as well. The amount of extra options you get is quite phenomenal. And it all comes in this handy carry case as well so it's nice and compact and can be easily stored away. So I'm quite impressed so far. I really am, I'm quite impressed. So let's just test out the camera itself. Let's see how good the actual video quality is that this camera provides. Okay then, so I'm outside as you can see, and um, there's a lot of light, it is a bit overcast here and it looks like it's gonna rain. However, this is currently capturing at 4K at 24 frames per second. And this is the quality of the footage that you will get when using this setting. Okay then, and now this is me inside my house, inside the kitchen to be precise, just ignore all the bad paint work, it's a long story. However, this is quite a dark room, although we do have a lot of natural light coming in, it's still fairly dark and this is what it looks like when you are in a low light condition, yeah, capturing at 4K and 24 frames per second. Okay then, and now this is on the 60 frames per second in 1080p. So hopefully, I presume this will be a lot clearer, a lot sharper, and a lot smoother as well. And this is now at 1080p at 60 frames per second, still uh, inside once again, and with low light, but some natural light coming in, but as you can see, um, we are still in quite a dark area to see how well this camera works in a low light environment. Okay then, so I know that was just a quick demonstration there for you all. As you can see, we went outside and tested out two resolutions, both one at 4K, one at 1080p, and then we came in and did the same thing again. And to be honest with you, the outside footage wasn't that bad. It was okay, it was acceptable, it was reasonable. I think the actual quality on the 1080p setting was a lot better, obviously because it captures 60 frames per second. Now, of course, before I go, if you do have any questions or comments about this wonderful little action camera, then please feel free to put it in the comment section below and I will get back to you with the answer as quickly as possible. And of course, finally, if you did enjoy this video then please show your appreciation by giving it a wonderful thumbs up and of course clicking that beautiful subscribe button. But until next time, thank you once again for watching and I'll hopefully see you at some point very soon. Thank you.